Hazel considered making a run for it. She didn't trust Queen Hia, and she certainly didn't trust that other lady, Otrera. Only three guards were left in the room. All of them kept their distance. Hia was armed with just a dagger. This deep underground, Hazel might be able to cause an earthquake in the throne room, or summon a big pile of scheist or gold. If she could cause a distraction, she might be able to escape and find her friends. Unfortunately, she had seen the Amazons fight. Even though the queen had only a dagger, Hazel suspected she could use it pretty well. And Hazel was unarmed. They hadn't searched her, which meant thankfully they hadn't taken Frank's firewood from her coat pocket. But her sword was gone. The queen seemed to be reading her thoughts. Forget about the escape. Of course we would respect you for trying, but we'd have to kill you. Thanks for the warning. Heya shrugged. The least I could do. I believe you come in peace. I believe Reina sent you. But you won't help. The queen studied the necklace she had taken from Percy. He's complicated. Amazons have always had a rocky relationship with other demigods, especially male demigods. We fought for King Priam in the Trojan War, but Achilles killed our queen, Penthesilia. But years before that, Hercules stole Queen Hippolyta's belt. This belt I'm wearing. It took a century to recover it. Long before that, at the very beginning of the Amazon nation, a hero named Beferion killed our first queen, Otrera. You mean the lady who just left, yes. Otrera, our first queen, daughter of Ares. Mars? He made a sour face. No, definitely Ares. Otrera lived long before Rome, in a time when all the demigods were Greek. Unfortunately, some of our warriors still prefer the old ways. Children of Ares, Ugh, they are always diverse. The old ways. Hazel had heard rumors about Greek demigods. Octavian believed they existed and were secretly plotting against Rome, but she never really believed it even when Percy came to camp. He just didn't strike her as an evil, scheming Greek. You mean the Amazons are a mix? Greek and Roman? He had continued to examine the necklace. The clay beads, the probatio tablet. She slipped the rainous silver ring off the cord and put it on her own finger. I suppose they don't teach you about that at Camp Jupiter. The gods have many aspects. Mars, Ares, Pluto, Hades. Being immortal, they tend to accumulate personalities. They are Greek, Roman, American, and a combination of all the cultures they've influenced over the eons. Do you understand? Uh, I'm not sure. Are all Amazons demigods? The queen spread her hands. We all have some immortal blood, but many of my warriors are descended from demigods. Some have been Amazons for countless generations. Others are children of minor gods. Kinsey, the one who brought you here, is the daughter of a nymph. Ah, here she is now. The girl with the auburn hair approached the queen and bowed. The prisoners are safely locked away, Kinsey reported. But... Yes? Kinsey swallowed like she had a bad taste in her mouth. Otrera made sure her followers are guarding the cells. I'm sorry, my queen. He pursed her lips. No matter. Stay with us, Kinsey. We were just talking about our uh, situation. Otrera, Hazel guessed. Gaia brought her back from the dead to throw you Amazons into civil war. The queen exhaled. If that was her plan, it is working. Otrera is a legend among our people. She plans to take back the throne and lead us into a war against the Romans. Many of my sisters will follow her. Not all, Kinsey grumbled. But Otrera is a spirit, Hazel said. She isn't even real. The queen studied Hazel carefully. I worked with the sorceress Cersei for many years. I know he will return to Sol when I see one. When did you die, Hazel? 1920? 1930? 
1942, Hazel said. But, but I wasn't sent by Gaia. I came back to stop her. This is my second chance. Your second chance. Hazel gazed at the rows of battle forklifts, now empty. I know about second chances. That boy, Percy Jackson, he destroyed my old life. Oh, you wouldn't have recognized me back then. I wore dresses and makeup. I was a glorified sexuary. An accursed Barbie doll. Kinsey made a three-fingered claw over her heart, like the voodoo gestures Hazel's mom once used for warding off the evil eye. Cersei's Island was a safe place for Raina and me, the queen continued. We were the daughters of the war goddess, Bellona. I wanted to protect Raina from all that violence. Then Percy Jackson unleashed the pirates. They kidnapped us and Raina and I learned to be tough. We found out we were good with weapons. In the past four years, I've wanted to kill Percy Jackson for what he made us endure. But Raina became the praetor to Camp Jupiter, Hazel said. You became the queen of the Amazons. Maybe this was your destiny. Hiya fingered the necklace in her hand. I may not be queen for much longer. You will prevail, Kinsey insisted. As the fates decree, Hiya said without enthusiasm. You see, Hazel, Otrera has challenged me to a duel. Every Amazon has that right. Tonight at midnight we'll battle for the throne. But you're good, right? Hazel asked. He managed a dry smile. Good, yes, but Otrera is the founder of the Amazons. She is a lot older. Maybe she's out of practice, having been dead for so long. I hope you're right, Hazel. You see, it is a battle of the death. She waited for that to sink in. Hazel remembered what Phineas had said in Portland, how he had a shortcut back from death, thanks to Gaia. She remembered how the Gorgons had tried to reform in the Tiber. Even if you kill her, Hazel said, she'll just come back. As long as Thanatos has changed, she won't stay dead. Exactly, he has said. Otrera has already told us that she can't die. So even if I manage to defeat her tonight, she'll simply return and challenge me again tomorrow. There is no law against challenging the crane multiple times. She can insist on fighting me every night until she finally wears me down. I can't win. Hazel gazed at the throne. She imagined Otrera sitting there in her fine robes and her silver hair, ordering her warriors to attack Rome. She imagined the voice of Gaia filling this cavern. There has to be a way, she said. Don't Amazons have, like, special powers or something? No more than other demigods, he has said. We can't die just like any mortal. There is a group of archers who follow the goddess Artemis. They are often mistaken for Amazons, but the hunters forsake the company of men in exchange for almost endless life. We Amazons, we prefer to live life to the fullest. We love, we fight, we die. I thought you hated men. He and Kinsey both laughed. Hate men, said the queen. No, no, we like men. We just like to show them who's in charge. But that's beside the point. If I could, I would rally our troops and ride to my sister's aid. Unfortunately, my power is tenuous. When I am killed in combat, and it's only a matter of time, Otrera will be queen. She will march to Camp Jupiter with our forces, but she will not go to help my sister. She'll go to join the giant's army. We gotta stop her, Hazel said. My friends and I killed Phineas, one of Gaia's other servants in Poland. Maybe we can help. The queen shook her head. You can't interfere. As queen, I must fight my own battles. Besides, your friends are imprisoned. If I let them go, I will look weak. Either I execute you three as trespassers, or the Cheddar will do so when she becomes queen. Hazel's heart sank. So I guess we're both dead. Me for the second time.
In the corner cage, the stallion Arian whinnied angrily. He reared and slammed his hooves against the bars. The horror seems to feel your despair, the queen said. Interesting. He is immortal, you know, the son of Neptune and Ceres. Hazel blinked. Two gods had a horse for a kid? Long story. Oh. Hazel's face felt hot with embarrassment. He is the fastest horse in the world, he has said. And Pegasus is more famous with his wings, but Arian runs like the wind over land and sea. No creature is faster. It took us years to capture him, one of our greatest prizes. But it will do us no good. The horse will not allow anyone to ride him. I think he hates Amazons. And he is expensive to keep. He will eat anything, but he prefers gold. The back of Hazel's neck tingled. He eats gold? She remembered the horse following her in Alaska so many years ago. She had thought he was eating nuggets of gold that appeared in her footsteps. She knelt and pressed her hand against the floor. Immediately, the stone cracked. A chunk of gold ore the size of a plum was pushed out of the earth. Hazel stood, examining her prize. Hia and Kinsey stared at her. How did you... The queen gasped. Hazel, be careful! Hazel approached the stallion's cage. She put her hand between the bars, and Arian gingerly ate the chunk of gold from her palm. Unbelievable, Kinsey said. The last girl who tried that now has a metal arm, the queen finished. She studied Hazel with new interest, as if deciding whether or not to say more. Hazel, we spent years hunting for this horse. It was foretold that the most courageous female warrior will someday master Arian and ride him to victory, ushering in a new era of prosperity for the Amazons. Yet no Amazon can touch him, much less control him. Even though Trera tried and failed, two others died attempting to ride him. That probably should have worried Hazel, but she couldn't imagine this beautiful horse hurting her. She put her hand through the bars again and stroked Arian's nose. He nuzzled her arm, murmuring contentedly, as if asking, More gold? Yum. I will feed you more, Arian. Hazel glanced pointedly at the queen. But I think I'm scheduled for an execution. Queen Hia looked from Hazel to the horse and back again. Unbelievable. The prophecy, Kinsey said. Is it possible? Hazel could almost see the gears turning inside the queen's head, formulating a plan. You have courage, Hazel Levesque, and it seems Arian has chosen you. Kinsey? Yes, my queen? You said Orchera's followers are guarding the cells. Kinsey nodded. I should have foreseen that. I'm sorry. No, it is fine. The queen's eyes gleamed the way Hannibal the Elephants did whenever he was unleashed to destroy a fortress. It would be embarrassing for Otrera if her followers failed in their duties. If, for instance, they were overcome by an outsider and a prison break occurred. Kinsey began to smile. Yes, my queen, most embarrassing. Of course, none of my gods would know a thing about this. Kinsey would not spread the word about to allow an escape. Certainly not, Kinsey agreed. And we couldn't help you. The queen raised her eyebrows at Hazel. But if you somehow overpowered the guards and freed your friends, if, for instance, you took one of the guards' Amazon cards, with one click purchasing enabled, Kinsey said, which will open the jail cells with one click. If, God forbid, something like that were to happen, you would find your friends' weapons and supplies in the guard station next to the cells. And who knows? If you made your way back to this throne room while I was propelling for my jewel, well, as I mentioned, Arian is a very fast horse. 
It would be a shame if he were stolen and used for an escape. Hazel felt like she'd been plugged into a wall socket. Electricity surged through her whole body. Arian. Arian could be hers. All she had to do was rescue her friends and fight her way through an entire nation of highly trained warriors. Queen here, she said. I, I'm not much of a fighter. Oh, there are many kinds of fighting, Hazel. I have a feeling you're quite resourceful. And if the prophecy is correct, you will help the Amazon nation achieve prosperity. If you succeed in your quest to free Thanatos, for instance, then Otreo wouldn't come back if she were killed, Hazel said. You'd only have to defeat her uh, every night until we succeed. The queen nodded grimly. It seems we both have impossible tasks ahead of us. But you're trusting me, Hazel said. And I trust you. You will win as many times as it takes. He held up Percy's necklace and poured it into Hazel's hands. I hope you're right, the queen said. But the sooner you succeed, the better, yes? Hazel slipped the necklace into her pocket. She shook the queen's hand, wonder if it was possible to make a friend so fast, especially one who was about to send her to jail. This conversation never happened, he had told Kinsey. Take our prisoner to the cells and hand her over to Otreda's guard. And Kinsey... Be sure to leave before anything unfortunate happens. I don't want my loyal followers held accountable for a prison break. The smile queened mischievously, and for the first time, Hazel felt jealous of Reyna. She wished that she had a sister like this. Goodbye, Hazel Levescule, the queen said. If we both die tonight, well, I'm glad I met you.